The primary characteristic that distinguishes the Gouldian finch is its rich plumage. Sometimes known as Lady Gouldian finches, named after the wife of renowned ornithologist John Gould, Lady Elizabeth, these colorful birds vary from one another based on the colors of their heads. The varieties include red, yellow, and black-headed finches. Their striking color occurs naturally, with wild Gouldian finches with red heads generally being more aggressive than their red-headed brethren. Aside from the three primarily found colors, other types of Gouldian finch mutations exist, though they tend to vary more by bodily color rather than their heads. A very small number of Gouldian finches found in their native Australian grasslands can also have orange heads, though these birds do not vary significantly in appearance in the wild, with most having black heads, with a small percentage of Gouldian finches having a head that is red. John Gould named the birds after his late wife Elizabeth in 1841, declaring that they were the world's most beautiful birds, a point which anyone who has seen the Goldian finch would be hard-pressed to argue. Within the six years after their identification, the species began appearing on the European continent, being welcomed to many homes of European bird lovers. Before we begin, make sure to hit that subscribe button and press the bell icon to get notified for more amazing pets content. With that being said, let's begin. Native Habitat of the Gouldian Finch Gouldians had been captured, exported from their native wild grasslands in Australia for over 40 years, until the population numbers had dwindled so significantly that the process had to be stopped in the 1960s. Compounding their ability to live and thrive, agricultural developments which brought in grazing cattle pushed the Goldian finch to the breed's limits. It's estimated that only about 2,500 Goldian finches remain in the wild. Luckily, their species is not in danger of disappearing, as they are very heavily bred by bird lovers all over the world. Caring for and feeding a Goldian finch Finches are generally quiet birds but they do make some persistent, not overly audible noises, not loud enough to disrupt an owner's day or cause issue with neighbors. The Gouldian finch's diet in the wild consists of flowers, native fruit plants and seeds. Because seeds make up a significant portion of their diet, many erroneously believe that seeds are all that is needed for a finch. This is a mistake that discounts the other aspects of a finch's diet that allow them to have a fully nutritious diet. Mixes that encompass seeds with vitamins and minerals should also include the other foods that complement their nutritional needs. Small pellets, such as those found in Leifer's premium daily pellets, are a great choice for your pet Gouldian finch. Sounds of a Gouldian finch While Gouldian finches are great to look at, they do not want to be handled. These birds do not cope with stress very well, and its invocation can be fatal for them. Gouldies are not hand-raised, so they do not tame easily. However, even with being simply watched, Gouldian finches can make for great pets. With ideal care, owners can expect life longevity of about four to six years. Gouldian finch behavior and personality. Compared to other finch breeds like the society finch or zebra finch, the Gouldian finch is a challenging bird to keep as a pet, mostly due to its susceptibility to various ailments sensitivity to extreme temperatures, bad stress reactions, and not wanting to be handled. Aspiring bird owners who are novices to keeping a bird are not encouraged to make the Gouldian finch their first pet. Not only are Gouldian finches overly delicate creatures, but their various disease risks may also go unnoticed by inexperienced owners long enough to prove fatal. Gouldian finches are also sub-par at parenting, though they are exceptions, oftentimes abandoning both their eggs and babies. Many times these birds outright refuse to nest at all, which makes them difficult to breed. Even experienced breeders often keep society finches to take care of their young when the birds decide to abandon them. The Gouldian finch eggs are typically removed and replaced with plastic eggs, while the real eggs are moved to the care of society finches. When Gouldian finches do nest, they prefer it to be in a covered location, like a covered basket or a box, with the latter being preferable for safety reasons in helping achieve easier access and prevent catching of toes. They are not great nest builders either, so owners should assist Gouldian finches by placing materials to start a nest. Breeding of Gouldian finches should be held off until the bird is at least a year old. 
Once finches begin to breed, the female will lay three to six eggs that will hatch approximately two weeks later. Three weeks after that, the baby finches are able to leave their nest and generally able to sustain themselves with food another week subsequent to that. In the interim, babies need to be provided easily digestible egg food and millet spray. Finches can socialize well with society and zebra finches as long as they are given ample space to cohabitate. It is not, however, ideal to put them with huaidas or weavers as the latter can be dominating bullies. They need to exercise their bodies and expand their energy, so a large space for them to be able to fly around is paramount. Gouldian finches are good aviary birds, especially when they are setting as adorned with greenery. However, the spacious setting is not just important in letting them fly around. The female needs to get sufficient exercise prior to breeding in order to be in good breeding conditions. Without it, her eggs might be bound or outright produce dead offspring. The cage bars should only be half an inch apart and the door should be too small for finches to escape. It should only be accessible to clean the cage, water and feed the finches. In the wild, Gouldian finches consume seeds more than anything else, so their diet must be primarily seed-based, but a regular rotation of egg food, grubs, greens and veggies should be supplementing the seeds on a daily basis, along with optional small amounts of grit and charcoal. The cage should also always contain a cuttle bone. Common health conditions Predominantly, Gouldian finches are affected by stress. However, stress leads them to other vulnerabilities such as air sac mite infections in the respiratory systems, a serious medical condition that requires urgent veterinary intervention. This condition can be treated if it is caught and identified early enough. Similarly, the finch should be treated by a vet if they have a mite infection, causing them to suffer from scaly surfaces around their beaks, eyes and feet. If the beaks and nails on the finch's body are overgrown, they need to be addressed by an experienced groomer as soon as possible. Acquiring Gouldian Finch In the wild, the numbers of Gouldian finches have dropped significantly, but there are ample numbers living in captivity. Aspiring owners can select Gouldian finches from visiting breeders or acquire them from avian specialty realtors or large pet stores. While some bird species make telling genders apart a challenge, Gouldian finches are dimorphic. Mature males have significantly prominent plumage. Those who are immature typically are a mix of green and grey colouring. Babies look almost nothing like their parents, and the gender distinction by colour is tougher to perform until the finch molts for the first time about four to six months into their lives. The babies are not a pleasant sight when they are molting, and the process induces significant stress on this breed. Bringing you more value per minute than any other pets channel out there, or at least trying to. We would appreciate if you at least like or share this video. That would mean the world to us.